Jeez Louise. All right. So, uh, hey, everybody. Uh, <laughs> welcome back to My Fat Hands. Ben, ben only has one hand due to a bizarre gardening accident. Uh, I am George. I'm Ben. That is Ben. <laughs> That's George. <laughs> ben is not over there. That's not where today. the question mark lives, right yes. there. <laughs> ben is over here. All right, I almost poked him in the eye. Oh, okay, and uh, uh, sorry. And uh, so um, uh, I just wanted, what did I want to say? I wanted to say that we have a disclaimer. We're going to get that out of the way real early. Uh, ben and myself wow, are, are both adults. We use adult language and we have adult contents. There may be boobies and peeners all over the screen right now. Please no, but we, so as a result, since we use adult language, you have been warned. So if you don't like adult language, you should get the fuck out, get the fuck out. All right. Get Very good. Out. Excellent. We did it. This is, we yes, did it. We, and it was at the beginning too. <laughs> and, I, and I haven't left the meeting again, which is great. <laughs> oh, I am truly a Muppet. Uh, this is uh, episode, this is the, the Dirty Dozen, This huh? is 12, this, yeah, episode 12. Ep- episode 12. Yep. And because of episode 12, Ben and myself decided to both wear hats. Uh, <laughs> there's absolutely no correlation. Or I really that. need a haircut. Yes, yes, and so do I, because this just, this uh, that's not cutting <laughs> it, man. Wow, that's it looks just, like a baby's terrible. bottom when you do that. That's it. <laughs> <That's laughs> rash included. That's, yeah. that's the beauty of it. So, uh, so yeah, so this is the Bad Hatter episode. <laughs> Today, we have, uh, we have uh, as usual, we have things we want to talk about. We have topics. Um, we do, we do. Um, and uh, per request of one of our fat handers, um, one of the topics today is cringe songs. Oh, yeah. Now, I'm not 100% sure I know exactly how this is supposed to go, but I got, I got, I got winners here. So I, got, I have the most. So let's, let's talk about this. Are these supposed to be songs that we liked in our youth and we no longer like now? Or are these just songs that make you go, eh? or what, what exactly are we, we working the, with? The here? way I think I'm coming at it is these are songs that I liked in my youth. Or in the past, at some point, and right. when I when I, it's it, you you would be embarrassed to tell somebody that you were listening to it today. Okay, all right. <laughs> so uh, I will let you go first on this one. Yeah. So the first the first candidate for the cringe song from our past for me would be Ray Parker Jr. Ghostbusters, and I remember that summer when that came out. Like I love that movie. It was great. And I remember uh, my friend was in England for the summer, and I remember writing my letter and telling him, like, listing my number one song, and that was Ghostbusters. All right. So, so wait, what year was that? 80... Uh, 84, 83, 84, something like that. So you would have been 16? Somewhere in that range. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's All the number. Right. That Fair was be, That's probably my number one cringe right there. And then somewhere around the same, probably around the same year or two would be uh, After the Fire by Derek Commissar. But I know it's, uh, or Derek Commissar and yeah. it's by After the Fire. That's what yeah, it is. Okay, yeah, yeah, I was yeah. Say, yeah. And I know that's a cover version of some German song and stuff. But oh, I still it's like, called Derek Commissar. Yeah, I still like that song. <laughs> so it's sort of cringy, yeah, but right. I still like it, you know. See, that, that was my question, because I have songs that are still cringy that I, I still like. I yeah. mean, so, yeah. and, uh, so but I'll, I'll share those, but what, yeah. I, I got but, but yeah. like Ghostbusters, I don't listen uh, to that anymore. It's just, right. I, you know, outgrew that by, you know, a month maybe. But after the uh, Derek Commissar, I still like that song, but I just realized yeah. it's kind of cringy, you know, it's still kind of cringy because it's sort of a, you know, kind of a goofy song. And then this is one that we talked about before, so you know about this one is uh, it's by Anthrax and it's I'm the Man. And, um, <laughs> My wife tells me that I listen to that a lot. <laughs> when that album Apparently, I listen to that a lot in the car with her. So, and that one is a little cringy. Yeah, like I haven't listened to that one in a long time. But yeah. I, I, uh, I, that is on my current playlist. Uh, is it really? Have, it's it's the new one. They they had one that came out, and then they did a, a an album called Attack of the Killer Bees. Yeah, that's and, the album that I had. Yeah. Okay, and, and then the the one on that album is actually a kind of a revamped. Uh, it's better mastered. It's the it's, deaf uncensored version is the one. Word. I've got. Yeah. Word. Word to Scott Ian. 
Uh, yeah, so no, I, I like that song. I still like that song. I haven't listened to it in 10,000 years, but. <laughs> but it's yeah, I still well, like I've got it. it on now, so yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. we'll add that in post. Yeah, <laughs> don't you know that I'm the man? I'm the man. Uh, I'm the man. <laughs> so, bad I should be in detention. <laughs> I like it. I, 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 that's, that's it's just way. funny because I like it too. And like, I'm listening to it now. I'm it like, is oh, a I cringe don't... song though. And it is kind of that. cringe. Yeah. yeah it's yeah, very, yeah. you know, the thing about the cringe songs, they're like locked into a certain time period, you know, like right. Ghostbusters. Right. That is like mid eight, like early eighties locked in early eighties. Right. I'm right. the man anthrax. What is that? Like 93 or something. Yeah, like yeah. That? yeah. This one for, for, for the people that aren't 13 year old girls, Cringe is kind of a new thing that uh, that the kids are using for embarrassing songs from the old. So we actually have to explain this with the old people because cringe is such a hip and trendy uh, word. So, yeah, it would be like equated to cringe worthy. <laughs> so uh, one of my cringe songs, and this is going to be really bad, but one of my cringe songs is uh, Mandy by Barry Manilow. Oh, OK. And just so you know. Also, still on my playlist. I still <laughs> listen to Mandy, uh, and uh, not to be confused with Brandy. Oh, Brandy! Revealed, you mean the Leon the Lobster my guy? Prop. Oh no! I revealed my prop. Really? Bad. I did. Hold on. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. Wait, I didn't see him. it. Hold on. We'll see if we can coax him back up. Hold on. Hold on. This is very exciting. What? Oh, what? Oh. What? 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 Oh, that's it. It's like that's a now. teaser. That's a teaser. It's like the Kurt Cobain what? story. <laughs> or, you're teaser. gonna have to blot him out and post because he appeared right here. So, but no, I, all I saw were eyeballs. <laughs> yep. So that's that's well, that's the thing. You got it. You got it. And this person is very very shy. Oh, very shy. So yeah. Oh, okay. That's what the enough. hell is that? I have no I, idea I, what that is. <laughs> hey. Uh, the other now here's a cringe song that is truly a cringe song that I actually used to like and I cannot stand anymore. Yeah, uh, by a band called Dexy's Midnight Runners. Oh well, it can only be one song then. <laughs> that, they only have one, yeah. and it's "Come On Eileen." Come on, Eileen, yeah. and yeah, oh yeah. my God, I hate that song so yeah. much now. But I really like that song. When it that first is came a out. that is it. a dirty song. You listen it, to that song. It, He's like uh, creeping on a young girl, and now she's right. old enough. And it's something about he wants to take her pants off. Or something. Really? Yeah. I, I don't know. Uh, There's something about her clothes there. coming off, or something like that. So uh, the video was creepy enough. So it's just some girl walking around in overalls, and like him and eight guys behind her yelling, "Come on, Irene!" It's like. <laughs> What is going on in Ireland? What is happening, people? What are you doing? I feel like I should be talking like uh, the edge. I feel like yeah, I yeah, look yeah. Like this I is ate, a very I edgy like, thing. I feel like I ate the edge. And that was, <laughs> it's like I'm, I, the only thing left is this hat, so I put it on. <laughs> I own the edge's soul. I don't know, Bonner, man. I don't know. So, uh, but the two most cringe songs ever created, in, in my opinion, the song that I'm talking about is Vista's The Seventh Element. Vista's I'm, The Seventh Element. Um, I'm trying to see the first time he, he does the blow up thing. There's a really bizarre. It's, yeah, it's, it's really weird. This it's is a, really it, weird. <laughs> it's, it's, yeah, I can't, I'm surprised you haven't seen it. How many millions of views do they have? Uh, 29 million views. This is, it's this is not a secret. It's very weird, dude. He's got it like is, mirrors yes. on his head. <laughs> yes. Yes. And it's and, there's some bizarre people in the background. And yes. uh, it's yes. a very, very. Uh, it's kind of disco y. Uh, yeah. It has a disco vibe, but wow. it is very not of this earth. It yeah, is, that is. So when is that yeah. from? When was that George's favorite uh, song? I, no, that wasn't my favorite song. I was just, I, I just kind of was going through a blurb of weird, weird songs. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, that's just a weird song. No, the two, the two cringe worthiest songs ever. These are not songs that I liked then. And don't like now. These are oh. just horrible songs that yeah. are cringeworthy, right. regardless. And oddly enough, they both involve uh, lead actors from the old TV show Star Trek. Uh, one is Leonard Nimoy singing the Hobbit song. Leonard Nimoy <laughs> singing the Hobbit song. Yes, <laughs> which which if you watch it, you may never recover. It, it, it will change your life. Forever, possibly for the better, possibly for the worse. There's no way of telling. The Ballad it's, of Bilbo Baggins. <laughs> the Ballad of Bilbo Baggins, as sung by Leonard Nimoy. And uh, uh, 
what I think is. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, uh, yeah. So uh, yeah, I know. It's got yeah. And then what was the other one? Was what Shatner doing uh, the Bowie Rocket song, Man? Right? No, yeah. Elton John. Rocket. Oh Man. yeah, Shatner. That, Rocket see, Man. Yeah, you don't even need help with that. Bag. I mean, yeah, that one I that know. Is, yeah, yeah. It isn't that even, is, it's like real slow. Like, like, hey, yeah, Rocket I'm Man. I'm a Rocket. Zero hour. It's like, what? What are you? What are you doing? Why is this? Why is this my life? Why is this happening? It's and I'm yeah. gonna be. And he's sitting in the video that I'm looking at. Is he's sitting there with a cigarette? Oh, at one point there's three of him, and there might even be a four, a fourth. I can't. Remember. And he's in a but tux a too. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he's at various stages of disrobing in the song. <laughs> at one point he's got the jacket off and the ties on the side and the it's things I'm button the mids. So it is, oh, okay. If you've That's ever seen pretty it, cringy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it it's is a it's my it's super it's super mega mega right. cringe. Hmm. I think I'm going through manopause. <laughs> manopause. Uh I was watching Mr. Minorium's Emporium, whatever. What the hell is that? It's a Dustin Hoffman movie about a magic toy store or something like that. What the? And of oh, course I he, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know who yeah. you It's got, it's got the, um, uh, uh, from, from the professional, Natalie Portman. Natalie right? Portman. Oh, she's, yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, mm, I like her. It's, she's cute. It's a very sweet, cute movie. And, and of course, Dustin Hoffman's character dies. Spoiler. Wasn't he and like I, a wasn't he like a magician or something? He was magic. Magical? He wasn't he yeah, he wasn't a magician. He was magic. He was mad. He was 243 years old. And yeah. Well, yeah. And uh he's basically he was the turtle from Kung Fu Panda. I don't know. But <laughs> right here, picture right here. It was almost uh, like Obi-Wan. Did he have a like a battle at the end? And yeah. he like his cloak falls on the floor. It, yeah. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. And he and so he dies, and the toy store gets sad, and, and I just start <laughs> I'm like, what the hell, man? All right. Hey, George. Yeah. I made you a video. I love people making me videos. It's inspired (laughs) by something that we've talked about and someone we've interviewed. So Mm. without further ado, may I introduce to you Sally the Shrimp. The internet sensation, (laughs) Leon the Lobster, has all captured our hearts. I wanted to see if I could recreate the same warm feelings that Leon. What an awesome with. narration. The narration of it's oh, is that Bev? Or is that a super no, uh, okay. no, it's stock photo? <laughs> wait, I ventured wait a second. to my local supermarket. That's a dead shrimp. Surprised to see something within my budget. <laughs> well, this is in your budget. That's well, that's the thing, is my it's budget a, yeah, was it's a, <laughs> my budget was forty-five cents. That's right. Man, they they wrapped up Sally up good. Soon, I had brought Sally the Shrimp to her new home. She settled right in. Welcome, Sally. Just right in the bowl. You'll be fine. Is she moot? No, she's not moving. No, she 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 appears rather lifeless. Are you gonna? Oh, oh, she is moving. Yeah. As we all know, shrimps love cheese. <laughs> Dig in, Sally. Look at her go. <laughs> <laughs> the small tanks were really confining, so I took her outside to experience outdoor time. The shrimp's natural environment yeah. in Allentown, New Jersey. Yeah, outdoors <laughs> in the snow. <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh man, she is. Uh, woo! She looks like she looks like she's adapting to her climate very well. Yeah, she, well, she, she wanted to get outdoors, you know. Hey, but... sometimes you gotta do that. Oh my god, that was epic. <laughs> Are there going to be further adventures in Sally? I don't know. It depends on how well it's received. Oh, it's man. possible. Yeah, she's that still is... out there. Yeah, 
That's epic. I think uh, Sally should get into like uh, space exploration. I think that that's the. You never know. Uh, or, you never or know. she could be a car enthusiast. We'll have to see. I can tell um, you that my family's extremely worried about me. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. You should have seen the lady at the fish counter when I go. I wanted. I go. Yeah, I want some shrimp. And she goes, "How mu- how much?" And I go, "One." <laughs> and then she, she has the to. Most- <laughs> then she's got to weigh it and then wrap it up. <laughs> And it was that 45 was cents. That was, that was awesome. Absolutely awesome. Leon is jealous. I guarantee you, this Leon is, is jealous. This is going to kick Leon off the crown of crustacean Leon, videos. Sally the shrimp. Yeah, yeah, Sally the shrimp is going to eat you for lunch, Leon. So Yeah, Brandy, Beauregard, <laughs> whatever your name is, dude. Yeah, you should have talked to us, but now we got our own Brandy, mascot. This Brandy, this is for you. Uh, Brandy, you inspired us, and we've right. just won up to you. That's right. And I Brandy, guarantee you yeah. that Sally will do 10,000 things that Leon never thought about. Number doing. one, Brand- Leon had no cheese. Number two, never got outside. Now, wow, that's very exciting. So that's, that's our yeah, exciting. that's our nature segment for this week. So oh, that's the education. Man. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying yeah. to get that shown in schools. So yeah. yes, absolutely. Everybody should know about the yeah. beauty of they Sally. Get... Oh my God. Yeah, that was very, very good. <sighs> well, I'm glad you enjoyed Epic. that. I just wanted to share Epic. that with you. And and now our fat handing family. <laughs> absolutely. Yes. And even even the pinchy whiskered crustaceans in the in the in the my fat pincher family. I don't know. <laughs> so there you go. Not affiliated case, with him. In case anybody's wondering what my shirt says, it says get in loser. We're playing D D. <laughs> We're playing D D. So and the guy looks like a wizard. See, he's got the wizard hat on. Oh, I That's thought he right. was one of the guys from ZZ Top. He is a why can't he be both? Why yeah, right, I could. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. It's uh it's Barry Gibbons and or Rusty. I don't remember their names. I don't know. I'm not a big ZZ Top fan, it's a whole other thing. Hmm. Even though I'm from Texas. Yeah, I thought that things. was kind of like you had to be. No, no, that's they they loosened that restriction a few years ago. You oh, no I love longer have, you great. know, I I I I, I, was really, I like uh, nationwide and I think Lagrange and that's that's about it. You know, and, that and, could uh, almost fall under the cringy music because I love ZZ Top, but they came out with a cringy ass uh, album. You know, the one uh, not was it Afterburner? I think was the name. Yeah, of the album? yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh. Whoa! And there was like a song called Velcro Fly, and it had a lot of synthesizers <laughs> and stuff on it. I was like, what uh, the hell is this? <laughs> that's like Eliminator was such a, like a hard rock, like, chomp, yeah. you know, like, <laughs> video. And then they came out with Velcro Fly. <laughs> Get yeah. into my sleeping bag. <laughs> God, so, yeah, that I was just... really cringy, man. But um, yeah, yeah. yeah it was i just i never they, they not I, as easy topper know. okay not as easy top fan up steve even, Ray fan even like when steve eliminator Ray came out the videos with the girls and stuff and the car uh, and yeah th- those were playboy playmates they were very attractive i didn't say those like videos, the videos are great yeah, legs like videos. remember legs the song oh, yeah. legs yeah. And... yeah she's got legs two of them yeah. one on each each part of her hip yeah yeah it's like very that. very exciting oh. something like that she's got legs she knows how to shoes. move them that's right yeah that's right Anyway, sorry. <laughs> great. I'm so glad she's not paraplegic. That's great. a great song. It's, that is a great yay. song. We're glad <laughs> Look, she's not move. paralyzed. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Oh Lord. Oh, my. All right. Lordy, Lordy. Oh my goodness. Well, that's great. I think that's a, an excellent note to close this episode. Well, I think that's, what about that's, what about oh. uh Kurt Cobain? Not this week. Really? Not this week. You got to keep on mega tease. In. It's a we mega got, tease. We got to get more than five views for somebody to get the Kurt Cobain story <laughs> out of me. This video gets how many? I'd say we get 10 views. 10, 10 views. 10. If we can get That's three get likes. 10, if, we get, if we get 10 views and one like. <laughs> but does, we can't like our it own can't video. Be, it can't be, it can't be you or, or me. Yeah. yeah, it's just somebody else has to like the video. All right, if that happens, tell, then tell, we're I'll, gonna hear about Kurt Cobain. Well, tell the Kurt Cobain story. Right. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So uh, tune in uh, next week where I might or might well, not, probably not. It depends on Kurt you. Cobain story. And that's right. It depends that's right. on you, our viewers. That's right. We have. Can to we get, get enough views? Can we get 10 enough views? Likes? Which is twice the views we had in her last video, and but we're gonna we're gonna change it. We're gonna change it up. We're gonna put like Godzilla, Donkey Punch, Bitcoin, 
Trump, Libtard, Tucker Carlson, Snowflake, January, January 6, Snowflake, Second Amendment, just like every keyword, Hannity, Hannity Tucker, uh, Tucker, uh, Cruise like, 2024. We got to get like all the, all the, all, uh, we got to do the left stuff too, you know, like Biden rules, uh, Rachel Maddow, Feel the uh, Burn. Feel, feel the, the bird, bird. <laughs> yeah just hashtag oh aoc Sanders. aoc A- aoc forever yeah. people uh, love her oh yeah yeah they yeah. love to hate her yes. yes yes she's a character she's young and pretty and so we have to love and hate her that's because that's the way because America that's is. what we're all about in this country is what people that's look right. like <laughs> that, yes absolutely. that is how we value you <laughs> that's right Sad but true. Oh my God! No, it's like the '90s again. What happened? Why? What Why? do you mean? How is it like the Alanis, '90s? Alanis Morissette, <clears throat> right oh. here, just right there. That beautiful Canadian voice, like a like a singing songbird from the mm. from the Yukon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I <laughs> now I'm thinking about that lady this, who was from Alaska, the singer. Remember her, Jewel? And, yeah, she had weird yeah. teeth. Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> her God teeth are worse than your teeth <laughs> yeah but she had a great voice sorry <laughs> oh i've heard him i've heard him so badly <laughs> he doesn't mean it that's why i have my service animal here to take care of me it's okay it's I'm okay so sorry i'm so it's sorry all right. it's all right pretty, pretty, pretty. okay all right he told me a joke very naughty joke. You do not really. Know. Yes, and it will offend all Mexicans, Japanese people, and Zoroastrians. That wow. guy has got a mouth. Wow. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. All right. I feel better now. Did it involve pegging or something? <laughs> you said it was dirty, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. That guy, you want to talk dirt? <laughs> Google that, kids. <laughs> Go, you said this is Google not for that. kids, so get yes. the fuck out if you're ready. Right. Get the fuck left out. Like thirty minutes ago. By the way, Ben was talking about pirates. In case you're wondering, he's talking about the wooden the peg yeah, legs. Peg legs. Yeah, yeah Dr. Peg Hook. Hook. That's 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 a, yeah, Dr. Hook. <laughs> Perfect. Oh my God. I know you're trying to get us out of here desperately. I, I am. I'm trying. I gotta oh. go. I gotta go. I gotta okay. catch the game. The footballer. <laughs> hey, the Cowboys are playing. Come on, man. Come on, get this <laughs> asshole off the thing. I wanna go. I swear my lips aren't moving at all. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, do the outro then. All right. So, hey, that does it, everybody. Thank you so much for doing my bad hands. Woo! Woo! Pantera, yeah! Oh, G Dog's back. Uh, yeah. Bing, bing. Uh, all right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, tune in next week. Who knows what that'll happen? And until then, uh, that's Ben. That's not Ben. That's a question mark. That's Ben. That's I'm George. George. These are our fat ends. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>